Most people in America are familiar with what a tent looks like. An old style military tent would have some sort of wood as a construct and usually some sort of tie or lash to the ground. When you don't have the ability or the safety because of bugs and other things or poisons put down to be on grass with a simple old tent, then you put yourself on concrete for a lot of reasons. Because you want to be clean, you want to make sure that your shoes or your socks or whatever you have stays out of the wet and out of the damp on a rainy day. Most tents are made of some sort of a canvas or plastic or some sort of weather resistant material, but they're not always 100%, especially old things like this, 100% waterproof. Like I bought two bags from a very famous company that promised on its tag that my bags would be waterproof. I didn't find that at all. When I'm talking, I'm talking about this wood staff. And this wood staff actually is a piece of a probably some sort of shovel or some sort of broom that, I, broom that I had. But some person paid me $3, and then when I came out of the shop that I went in shopping in, I found that they had broken that handle. So I taped it up with duct tape, which is what men do, and openly that's why you see those gray pieces on that wood staff. But what I've noticed is that that staff, along with the staff in front of me, had been shortened because both of these staffs fit absolutely perfectly horizontally across my tent. But now I can't use them like that. They've been shortened on me. At the same time, the tip of this particular wood that I picked up specifically so I could use it to put a broom handle on the end or a shovel on the end has been broken off by somebody. And I'm pretty sure it was the people who work next door that did that to me during the night or when I put myself down to have a nap because of my narcolepsy. But the reality was that tip wasn't there and then all of a sudden, boom, it was there on the ground as if the person was trying to nanny nanny booby me, boo-boo me. Sorry, nanny nanny boo-boo me. You tried to say that 10 times fast. But the reality is that while this tip can come off, if they keep shrinking my staff, which they were doing to me all the time when I was on campus, I'd find these great long pieces of staff and at the end there'd be something broken off. So I'd take it off and I'd utilize it for me. But openly someone was constantly shortening my materials by changing them out or cutting them off and putting the handles back on in a mockery of my life.